Hello guys, welcome back to 1878 Blues, Everton v Aston Villa, Everton's first game of the season, uh, a game which in my eyes right now is a must win uh, before we start carrying on to be honest with this, I wouldn't say rotten form but it can turn into rotten form if you lose tomorrow. Um, and in no means it's a game that I should be confident in us winning. Uh, despite Aston Villa's very good season up to now, um, they have a very good record against us. We do tend to struggle, and I don't, re I don't recall the last time we beat Aston Villa at home. I can't recall. Um, I think we've lost about two in the bounce, three in the bounce, maybe. I'm not too sure, but. Um, yeah, they're in fine form. They've got players who can punish us, even if we're playing well. Um, the likes of Watkins, McGinn, uh, I think Tillemans is back, who you can you know pick out a pass. Um, yeah, a very good side all over. Um, Bailey, um, he's the other fellow who's been came this season. Diaby, just 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 an overwhelming amount of attacking players in that team um, who could do damage at any point at any time and if Aston Villa turn it up then they should comfortably turn us over um, but they have got the likes of Luca Dean out former former blue um, who's a, who is a threat um, they did kind of you know rely a lot on him and his, uh, and his crosses and stuff and yeah he's out uh, Traore is out um, while he's at the African Cup of Nations for Everton it just gone a gaze in the African Cup of Nations um, I think it's with Senegal and Nick Neal will not unfortunately be taking part in this game but very fortunate that he hasn't done more damage and he should be returning against Crystal Palace for the replay in the FA Cup third round uh, Decore is back though, which is massive, and I just feel with him being back, I do believe that we're going to have a positive result with this one, even though history says not, um, and obviously how Aston Villa are doing in the Premier League this season, but a lot of people will be aware of this, that Aston Villa aren't very good away from home, they have struggled, and if they've won games... They've struggled. Um, so this, in no means, is an easy fixture for them. I don't think it's an easy fixture for everyone, anyone, to be honest. I think we've played really well this season. This, listen, it's going to be an up-and-down road for Everton Football Club after the past two se two seasons. And, you know, it's the same again this season with the obvious, obvious 10-point deduction. Um, obviously, it's put us right down there. Uh, we'll still be sitting about 12th or 13th, so it isn't amazing, but it's it's comfortable. And you know, there's a lot of games we should have been rewarded more for, and we haven't, you know, um, got the rewards for. So, um, yeah, decent, decent performance against Crystal Palace, which is you know, it's something good. It could have easily lost that game, and our heads could have been down again. I think it's a, it's a point that could hopefully, like I said bring our confidence back up knowing that we lost three games prior to that or well, four technically if you want to count full on, on penalties even though that game ended in a draw um, so yeah it's a big chance for us to step up I think we well, like him playing against the bigger sides at home this season despite getting beat to Arsenal I think and Manchester City um, we've not been great at home let's just be honest but we've had a, a, a few decent results on a, you know, I think on our day we can, we can beat the likes of Villa at home. And at some point, it's going to stop the rot. I know we beat them at Villa Park in the Carabao Cup. But, um, yeah, we just, we need a win. There's other teams around us picking up points. Aston Villa, uh, sorry, Luton and Burnley picked up a point each. Could have easily been a Burnley win, which would have tightened the bottom three to us again. Um, but, yeah, it's it's still very tight down there. And I think this is a massive opportunity for us to get some points on the board and get away 
from the bottom three because when you're just on the edge, like 17th, it does amount the pressure. If you're about 14th, you're in it, but you do feel like you've got some sort of leave way from the bottom three and you can start hopefully thinking that you can be looking up. But 17, you, you are looking over your shoulder. Uh, but yeah, it's our chance to put the recent results right and get a win on the board finally. You know, it feels a long time coming since we've last won a game. But before that, when we lost the three games in a row in the Premier League, it felt like a long time since we lost the game. So, you know, things can change very quickly in a matter of a month or so, especially with the amount of games in the winter period. And it's our chance to, yeah, again, get a good result. You know, a draw, you could say, is a decent result with the Aston Villa performances and, you know, how they're, how they're doing. But away from home, they're not being great. So I do feel like it is a big opportunity for us to take some points home. Do I think Aston Villa in the title race? No. I think they're a very good side, um, but I do. I just feel like other teams in and around them will come stronger. Um, but like I said, credit to them. They are in a Champions League race, in my opinion. They've got a bulky squad uh, compared to a lot of other teams in the Premier League. So I do feel like, yeah, they'll be challenging for Champions League spots. Um, but you never know in the Premier League. Mad things can happen. I've seen Leicester win the league. I've seen others win the league. Um, or fighting for the title to, for the last in the last few weeks of the season, who I didn't expect to be there. So you never know. Um, but yeah, that Dominic Calvert-Lewin's back, which I didn't even mention before. Uh, overturned the three-game ban is right. Um, yeah, a very uh, correct, you know, a correct decision. Uh, but obviously could have harmed us in our FA Cup run, and you know we could have easily lost that game after that incident um but yeah he'll be back and yeah i feel like mcneil might need a little bit of a rest as well so maybe a game off for him won't be the worst thing in the world um and yeah dan juma is he going or not haven't got a clue would he be in the match day squad tomorrow haven't got a clue we're gonna find out but you know with the likes of mcneil who could have been out longer is it really worth the risk of sending someone with dan juma's qualities out on loan where you can try and use him as much as we can till the end of the season because I do feel like at points we're going to need him. Um, you can't be relying on the likes of Lewis Dobbin. Um, and that's not uh, me taking a hit at Lewis Dobbin. It's just he's not experienced enough and he isn't good enough at this level yet, in my opinion. Um, not yet. Uh, but, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a massive game. It's a game where we, I feel like, we can be in control of our own destiny here and I just don't want us to slump to another defeat because I feel like the pressure will start mounting on us then um, but like I said it's no easy game Aston Villa will give it all to get the points at Goodison um, and I wouldn't be a surprise if they did it's one of them games you just you can't really call on it you really can't it's probably one of the hardest games in the next week or so to 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 bet on if you're going to um, I certainly won't be so yeah if my prediction I'm going to go for a very predictable scoreline when people predict football scorelines which I've seen on YouTube for a while 2-1 Everton just think it's going to be a tight game don't can't see us keeping a clean sheet but I just think we'll grind out the win um, I hope so but yeah if you could comment like what's your thoughts on the games uh, what your, what's your thoughts on this game Um yeah, let's try and get to 800 subs as well. It will be fantastic. And I will see you all for the match reaction tomorrow.